What is happening, everybody? This is Cody, a.k.a. DFS Prodigy, coming to you live, breaking down this upcoming NBA preseason slate. Before we begin, like, order for me, definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. There's been tons of y'all know. This is a five-gamer. This is a five-game, 10K to first NBA slate. So, I'm excited about this. Let's just go and hop right in with Philadelphia at Brooklyn. So, a couple new faces on Philadelphia. We have D'Anthony Melton, which I am excited to see how he fits in, and P.J. Tucker. But if we look back on the box score of the last preseason game, Niang, 22 minutes, um, Tyrese Maxey, 23, Quirk Moss, 30, Paul Reed, 30. So we didn't really see Joel Embiid, obviously, play. Um, but the way I'm looking at this is I do like Tyrese Maxey at 6'9", still uh, point per minute guy. I like what we're seeing of him. I like to see what's going to happen with Danny, Danny Melton on this team. Um, I like my 5,000, Yang 4-4, four, four, good option also. Um, Paul Reed, 4,000, we saw him get plenty of minutes last preseason game that they had last year. Um, like I said, I'm just going to kind of keep going back and forth on viewing the preseason because, um, like I said, minutes are going to be key. I don't really trust James Harden or Joel Embiid right now. I kind of want to pay out for other studs, but that's kind of what I'm looking at on this Philly team on the Brooklyn side. So if we go to Brooklyn's uh, preseason game, their very first one, while it loads, we will go here to the box score. Okay, so obviously they had no Ben Simmons. That's going to be kind of interesting to see how he plays and how many minutes he plays. But we have the preseason, the summer league, darling, the GOAT, Cameron, Mr. Thomas, I love Cam Thomas here. He's going to be chalk. Everybody knows that he goes off in preseason and he goes off in summer league. I love me some Cameron Thomas here, obviously. But again, if we look back on the preseason state last year, they kind of spread the minutes out. Um, if you remember Darren Duke or David Duke Jr., he saw the most minutes at 30. But um, because I would saw 27, we had Cam Thomas at 22, Bembry 24, Carter 26, Brown 25. It's crazy how this team is completely different now. But like I said, it's going to be the guys, like I said, Dajay Sharp, I like him here. Or Deron Sharp, 4-4. Four, four. Cam Thomas, 4-3. Cusser Arwitz, 4-2. David Duke, 4-1. Um, That's kind of where I'm going. It's just paying down because I don't really think – uh, Kevin Durant or Kyrie will see many minutes. Kevin Durant, Kevin Durant wants to play in the preseason. He wants to play all four games. But then again, what are we going to expect um, out of him minutes-wise? Because they we don't want him hurt. But going to Orlando and Memphis, so let's start with the Orlando side. If we go back, uh, no Jalen Suggs, possibly no Gary Harris. Marco Bolts got hurt again. Um, if we go to the preseason slate that they had in 2021, we're going to go to the Orlando Magic. And here is their first game. Wagner, 20 minutes. Carter, 21. Harris, 24. Harris, 21. Um, Suggs, 21. They kind of spread the ball out with minutes-wise. So here's what I'm thinking. Um, Cole Anthony, 7-4. They know what they have out of him now. I like that. I like Parlo Banchero at 5'3. That's way too cheap for Banchero, in my opinion. Why is he priced under 6K? That's the biggest question mark for me. Um, I do like me some RJ Hampton at 4'2. I think Schofield would see minutes at 4,000. If we remember Schofield um, out of Indiana, the College of Indiana, by the way. Um, like I said, I'm leaning towards getting a lot of Banchero and some of Cole Anthony at 7'4. Don't worry about salary, guys. Again, you can pretty much fit in whatever you want. But on the Memphis side, Jay Morant. <laughs> Jay Morant didn't play last preseason. That kind of hurt me because I didn't see that news, which that was my fault. Uh, Desmond Bain on my Saturday's preseason slate. All these guys missed. So I don't really know what to expect on this Memphis team. If we go back to how it was, though, Roddy looked good. Roddy looked really good. If he shot the ball better 5 for 12, it, it would have been even better. Um, Kutcher started. Chandler, 4-4. Four, four. So, again, just I don't know what to expect just yet. 
Um, Zaire Williams, 4-2. Again, he was in the starting lineup. Um, I kind of want to wait and see what's going to happen with Memphis, though. OKC and Denver, uh, no Chet, obviously. SGA, though, with the Q tag. Mm, he's not going to be ready. It's going to be all Josh Giddy. I like Josh Giddy here at 7-6. Dort, 6-1. It's okay to me. I've never really been a fan of this other team. That's just my personal bias. But Trey Mana, 4-4, I like that. Um, I think Pokusevsky is going to see minutes of 4-8, but I'd really love me some Josh Giddy as a payout. On the Denver side, Bruce Brown would be the main target for me at 4-8 and Bones Highland at 4-7. I like both of those guys a ton. Um, I don't think they're going to play much of Nikola Jokic, personally. I don't think they're going to much, really play much of Aaron Gordon, honestly. Uh, but I like me some Braun. I like me some Highland. I like me some Bruce Brown. It's kind of where I'm looking at that. Um, Portland and uh, the Clippers. So on the Portland side, Josh Hart, 7-3, stands out to me. I like that. I like Nasir Little at 4-7, the big man. Uh, Trim Wofford, we remember him. Blocks on blocks on blocks. Drew Eubanks, don't mind that. Um, like I said, if we go look back on how Portland played in the first preseason slate last year, we'll go pull that up really quick. Let's go to Portland. Trailblazers. Okay. So Covington 21, Powell 18, Narkis 23, Lillard 18, McCollum 12. And then they spread the bench around. So Damian Lord 8 1 is a little bit too cheap. Narkis is 7 8. Like I said, I don't mind that. I don't mind me some Josh Hart. I don't mind getting to this Portland team personally. On the Clippers, though, it's going to be Kawhi. Kawhi's playing. He's going to want to play. He will play. <laughs> Give me Kawhi at 8 8. It's too cheap. I cannot wait to see him play. Um, Paul George at 8-5 if it loads. He has the Q tag. Reggie Jackson has the Q tag. Zubak has the Q tag. But Paul George, 8-5. I don't mind that. I don't mind Kawhi Leonard at 8-8. Um, this is a veteran team, so be careful with this team. But Brandon Boston Jr. will see minutes. Um, I don't mind me going to the three-point god in Luke Kennard. And then let's go to the last game in the Kings at the Lakers. On the Kings side, Sabonis 8-3, Fox 7-9, Barnes 6-5. Um, that's who I'm playing. So I wish we could play Keegan Murray, but it's the injury. That's the, that's the problem. He's been clear to resume all basketball activities. Be careful with Keegan Murray if he plays. I want all of him. If he doesn't, then he doesn't. Davion, Davion Mitchell at 4 8. Why is Davion Mitchell only at 4 8? Do I remember him from last season? This should tell you right here. That's way too cheap for Davion Mitchell. Let me play him at 4 8 on a regular season slate. But, anyways, um, kind of what I'm looking at is Malik Monk, 5 2. Murray, if he's in. Davion Mitchell, I like that. Um, this is a young team, a young, young team. The Lakers, it's the Lakers. Do you want to play the Lakers? I like me some Austin Reeves. I like me some Thomas Bryant. Mm, Matt Ryan, not the quarterback for the Colts. Scotty Pippen Jr. should see minutes, I would assume. Um, if LeBron James plays good minutes, then I don't mind that at 8 9 one. But this is an interesting five-game slate for a preseason. But I'm excited about this. I'm excited to see ownership. But that wraps up the slate for us, guys, though. Thank you for tuning in. It was a great set for us tonight. I cannot wait to talk to you all again.